Hey guys, so I'm basically just doing a little bit of a MC Command Center troubleshoot video for you guys. It's very simple. Um, I don't always have the answers, so <laughs> a little bit quite hard. So I thought I would just do this with the basics um, and then go into a bit of detail about MC Command Center's website. It is really fantastic. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll dive straight in. Um, so just thought I'd quickly go through um, a couple of things uh, first. So basically step one, you wanna make sure that your mods are updated and your game is updated. Um, so Generally and unfortunately, um, when you have mods like MC Command Center and Wicked Whims, um, they're quite in depth, so they need to be updated frequently. Um, the creators will update them, especially when there is a EA update, um, to ensure that they work uh, with the recent version of The Sims. So that's step one, to make sure that you've done that. Uh, step two is to make sure that you've downloaded it correctly and you've also put it in your mods folder correctly. I do have some uh, videos on my YouTube channel that show you how to download MC Command Center correctly. I also have one that shows you how to um, download uh, custom content, but it is relevant in terms of how to get it into your mods folder. Um, so definitely make sure that you've done that correctly, especially if you're new uh, to downloading mods. Um, it can be a little bit daunting. It can be a little bit tricky. Um, so definitely make sure that you've done that correctly. I would also then ensure that your computer can actually run the game mods and custom content. So um, obviously The Sims 4 takes a lot of RAM, it takes a lot of um, effort from your graphics card and whatnot. So not all computers are designed to run The Sims 4, uh, all the expansion packs and stuff packs, etc., along with mods and custom content. So that's something to keep in mind in terms of um, uh, when you're downloading these things. Generally, you will notice if your computer can't handle it, if it's running really, really slow and really laggy. Uh, so that's a relatively easy thing to pick up on. Um, you also want to make sure that you have a legal copy of The Sims. Um, if you don't, go and buy a legal copy of The Sims um, because you can have issues uh, with your game in general if you have an illegal copy. Also, when you're trying to download custom content and mods, etc., um, obviously you will run into some issues. So definitely make sure that you've done that. Also, you will need to make sure that you have actually enabled mods in your game. So that's where you want to go to the home screen, you want to go to your settings, and you want to go to the section where it says enable mods. Um, it's relatively easy. Again, there are lots of videos out there on showing you how to do that. Uh, so that's another thing that you want to make sure. Um, if in doubt and nobody else can help you, go to Deedapool's website um, because they have an extensive um, list of FAQ and other things to help you determine what's going on. So for example, this here, game compatibility, this is on Deedapool's website. Um, so obviously you start here, like I said, is your game a legal copy, not pirated? So you can just go down. Um, is your game up to date? No, then update it. Uh, yes. Does MCC See, load properly, no, etc. So you can go through that um, if it's more in depth. So if you're getting things like your last exception or um, other things pop up, then obviously they've got a, a massive list here. Um, you've got troubleshooting tips here, and um, you've also got known mod conflicts. So generally speaking with a lot of your mods, um, the creators will know what will conflict with them. So here's a list here. There's about eight that will conflict with 
MC Command Center. So just make sure that when you're downloading this, um, that you don't have any of these. Um, there's obviously a, a description as to what actually happens in game if they are conflicting. Um, yeah, so it's um, it can be quite difficult. Um, not everybody has the same issues. Um, some people have some very wacky issues that I've never heard of, um, which can be quite difficult to determine, especially, you know, I don't have access to your computers and whatnot. So um, this is where this comes in handy. So they're saying that if you screenshot your mod folder, that can be helpful. Uh, screenshot your game options, other cost, um, ugh, other custom content window showing the script mods. Um, a copy of your MC command center log file, uh, obviously depending on the problem. So if you've got your last exception text, um, coming up. Um, yeah. And I've actually been getting a lot of these. So really vague comments of just saying it's not working. Um, you know, I can only help so much because obviously I'm not the creator. Um, so I can only help so much, but I totally agree with this comment here. When I get things like comments saying it's just not working, I can't really help. Um, I really need to know if you've downloaded it correctly, um, you know, if you're getting last exceptions and all that kind of thing. So just by saying it's not working, it really, it's, it's not, it's not something that I can determine or even as you can see, data pool uh, can determine what's going on. So keep that in mind that if it's, if you're running into problems, you really need to um, sort of explain what is really going on. Um, they have a discord server. So you can see this link here, um, basically with multiple people available helping with troubleshooting. So if worse comes to worse, you can click on that and you can uh, really try and get some help. They've also got uh, this as well. So game compa compatibility, um, you're troubleshooting. So you can click here to start and do that. Um, they've got the last exception here. They've also got the error logged file. Um, so it goes into heaps of detail as you can see. There's so much information. Uh, there's so many different issues that can come up. But like I said, if you follow those first couple of steps that I sort of went through, Generally, um, like I reckon nine times out of 10, you'll fix it. Um, so that's definitely, you know, those first few things are the things that I would be looking at to begin with. Um, and depending on your issue as well. So if you're getting things like your last exception texts and your error logged, I would definitely head over to Dataple straight away. Um, they've got the help. So they've got installation as well. So how to install it, um, screenshots and whatnot. I also have a video and there's heaps of other videos that YouTubers have done as well on how to download it. It is really easy. Um, it's, it's not something that's hard, so it should work straight away in game if you've done it correctly. Um, you've also got your FAC as well, so um, you, you've got all these options. Um, another thing that I would really encourage people to do is know what you're downloading. So that would be first things first. Know what your mod is doing. So MC Command Center is essentially um, settings for gameplay that you can manipulate. So whereas, say, Wicked Whims is a lot more um, gameplay orientated. So you've got obviously a lot more raunchy options. Um, you can change like a few little settings and whatnot here and there um, with Wicked Whims as well. But I sort of find that uh, MC Command Center is more um, settings. So it's, it's not necessarily something that you're going to click on a sim and you're going to have more interactions, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, yeah, MC Woohoo um, is something that I think people think that it's a gameplay option and it's not. It's just an extra setting um, within 
MC Command Center. So within when you go into the computer and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so definitely if you're having issues, go through those first really easy steps. Make sure that you've done all that. If you're having something just really bizarre and out of this world and nobody can help you, head over to Deedapool's website. Um, they will definitely be able to help you out there. Um, and in terms of um, what's actually going wrong, make sure you describe it as detailed as you can. Uh, nobody can help you if it's not detailed because um, obviously if we don't have a computer sitting right in front of us um, and we don't know exactly what you've done, it really it makes it really hard to narrow down and pinpoint what could be going wrong. Um, so yeah, that's sort of why I did this video because I have been getting um, a lot of questions and yeah. So I hope this was helpful. Um, keep in mind that a lot of the mod creators will help. Um, they also like it when you, if you have something really funky and weird going on, um, because they can then uh, use that information when they're updating their mod or creating other mods and whatnot. So yeah, it's definitely helpful. Um, and yeah, so I will put the links to Deedapool down in the description below. Um, so, and I will go, I will actually link specifically to troubleshooting and FAC and installation. Uh, so if you are having issues, go straight to that. Uh, yeah, so I hope it was helpful and take it all into account.